format of a formal letter. The formal letter begins with the sender's address. The sender's address should not exceed four lines. In sender's address, each line should not end with a comma. Next is date. The date should always be written in expanded form. For example, 18th February 2024. Next is receiver's address. The receiver's address should not exceed four lines. In receiver's address, each line should not end with a comma. Next is subject. Subject is a statement of the purpose of the letter. It should be written in a single line and should not exceed the word limit of 6 to 8 words. Next is salutation. The salutation can be either respected or dear. For example, respected sir or ma'am. If you know the person very well, you can address them by their name. Next is the body of the letter. The body of the letter should be written in three paragraphs. The first paragraph is introduction. The first paragraph should not exceed three to four sentences. In this paragraph, you should introduce yourself and should mention the purpose of your letter. In the second paragraph, you should furnish all the information about the matter. This paragraph should not exceed 6 to 8 sentences. The third paragraph is conclusion. This should not exceed 1 to 2 sentences. In the concluding paragraph, you should lay out your expectation regarding the matter. Next is closing of letter. To close a letter, you should add thanking you. Then use a complimentary closing like yours faithfully, yours sincerely, etc. Followed by your name and signature. Let's read the letter. Flat number 205 Lotus Apartments, Manikonda, Hyderabad, Phylak 89 Date 18th February 2024 The Municipal Corporation, Manikonda, Hyderabad, Phylak 89 Subject Erratic garbage collection in the locality. Respected Sir or Ma'am, I, Kajal, a resident of Lotus Apartments, would like to shed light on the erratic garbage collection in the locality. There has been an erratic garbage collection since two weeks. Due to this, we are not able to take fresh air from the open balconies, doors and windows. Also, there has been a hike of many unwanted diseases such as cholera, typhoid, malaria, dengue, etc. Due to this, mosquito menace is increasing day by day. Many stray dogs are wandering near the pile of garbages which are creating ruckus and threat to the residents nearby. Despite informing this to the municipal corporation, 
by our association members, no strict action has been taken. Keeping in mind the gravity of the situation, it is a humble request to take necessary actions to solve this issue at the earliest. Thanking you, yours sincerely, Kajal.